colors We're happy and we're singing and we're colored Give me a high five Yo, yo, this your boy Flaw 700 What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Fresco And this is the mop this ain't my brother and me. This is the podcast brothers. Hold on, man. You messing up the outros. You messing up the intros. I'm about to take over, bro. Yo, you we, got one more week to get we it right. was We was my brother and me for so long, man. We had to change that. We've been some podcast damn... brothers for like three, four weeks now. Episode 12. <laughs> we was my brother and me longer. <laughs> Whatever. Episode, episode 12, man. 12. Welcome to episode 12, everybody. I'm going to get straight into the guests. You feel me? We've got the homie Keisha in the building. You know Keisha, what I mean? say what's up, man. Hello. Keisha, yeah. get up on the microphone. Like you used to it. I told you that already. Speaking you know to what the you're mic? doing. Okay. There you go. Speaking there you the go. Okay, okay. We got another woman guest on for the females that listen to always want woman guests. Well, we got another one. And she ain't no dummy neither. She got a psychology degree from Virginia Union. She out here with the smarts. Yeah, I did okay. put your business okay. out there. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, listen. Before we get into today's show, I definitely want to shout out We Got The Jazz Podcast, man. Shout out to We Got The Jazz, man. They, they she, she tweeted me. It was like, yo, congratulations to the podcast brothers for making a new and networthy list on iTunes. New and noteworthy. New and noteworthy. What'd I say? Networthy. New and whatever. <laughs> that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that. Shout that. out to We Got Jazz for shout letting out to the we filling got, us in on But the thing one. is, I look every day, and I'm like, I don't see this. I don't see this. And she was like, nah, you got to click on the name joint. So I clicked on the name, and boom, there we were. And there nice. we were, man. So what does that actually mean? What that means is now iTunes start doing some work for you. That's basically what oh, that okay. means. Yeah, so nice. it's like now, once you make that list, you're on that list. Gotcha. And it's more easier for iTunes users to find you. Gotcha. So, like, when you go listen to um, Noriega or Tax Stone or Joe We Biden, might come up in a recommendation. It'll say yeah. users... Who listen to that normally listen to this. Oh, uh, so because so what you're saying is we Hollywood now. <laughs> Not yet. We Not, getting there. You you can feel that way if you want. I'm about to put my shades on right now. <laughs> right. So 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 now so I remember last week when we posted the joint. I'm like I got a few hits on iTunes already. I'm like where did this come from? I didn't even promote it. But that's basically how it works. Uh, like you still got to push it and promote it and, and, and do but your they part. They working a little bit more for us. So right. we basically got a third party pusher. Yeah, we yeah basically. And iTunes has over a billion users. I'm so your pusher. <laughs> eventually. Eventually, we're going to start getting them advertisements in, man. And that's basically what it's about. And that's basically why we do this. Not only because we love it, but imagine making bread off of this. Mm-hmm. So shout out to We Got The Jazz, man. Shout out to We Got The Jazz. Listen to their podcast, man. They got some dope episodes, And man. shout out to all the other... Uh all the other Twitter users who've been interacting with us and riding with us since we got started, man. John J, Cinderella, Go Cinderella, everybody, man. Y'all showing us some love. We appreciate it. You know who else need to show me some love, man, personally? Corona and Snapple. I purchased a lot of your products. I'm going to need your sponsoring, so stop playing with me. Corona. And we need that effing vodka sponsor. We need that effing vodka. Real, we need that. You we, know what I'm saying? We had that orange blood yesterday. That was good. How, yeah. It tastes just. It tastes like an orange now later. It was, I, that's what I told people. Yeah, it, it tastes like an orange now later. It tastes like an orange now later. Shout out to later. effing vodka. Well, we had the black cherry, the original one, the black, black cherry. Black cherry, black cherry. yeah. It's the black cherry cucumber. Well, we're not going to say nothing disgusting. 50 Cent might be listening. Hey, Keisha. You about to kick your ass off, man. He's killing the Listen, we need these sponsors. F and vodka, baby. <laughs> that's because that's Keisha, a project chick. She only drink Remy. Facts. <laughs> not even going to deny it. Let me tell you Remy. something, though. Yeah. That's the Let me homie. tell you something, though. That F and vodka hit like Remy. That F and it vodka do. is strong. I give you that. It is strong. Know, it almost, it Basically, what we're saying is 75. Sponsor your boys. Uh, 75, 80 proof, something like that. 75. 75. F and vodka is 75 70. proof. It F shocked and vodka. me. I was sipping next to me, and I was talking mad crap. And, and then that made me, <laughs> that made me look at the Ciroc bottle like, oh, you ain't even as much proof as no, nothing. Facts. No, well, I was I about agree. to say what Fifty say, but I don't want to kill sponsorship. Uh, 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 how much? How much uh, proof is uh, Ciroc? What is? What's the percent? Like forty. Really? Yeah, For Ciroc like 40, forty proof. I want to say because got to Google the, that. The, damn, damn. I'm guessing, but most vodka like forty. When I seen that the F and vodka was seventy five percent proof, I was like. Yeah, that shit hit me, like, on the neck. I mean, but on everything, we like all the beverages, and whoever hollers at your boys first, we will support all of the beverages. Shout out to Nas and that? the Bevel Blade Signature Fade. That's a, that's a major key. We'll definitely uh, sponsor that. Holla at your boys. <laughs> so what we got What we got on the menu today? First of all, first of all, let me... Y'all been on... You've been on Twitter recently, I, I, right? I have. Did you see the internet going nuts Tearing up Young Thug and Young Jock. Oh my God! Here's my boy. Qu- here's my question though with Young Jock. I'm gonna start with Young Jock, right? 
He tore young Jock up, right? But he ain't he does... like 88? Ain't about to change his name just Jock now? First off, it's too many youngs. Too many little yeah, I, too many youngs. How y'all niggas all young? No. Young, He was young. one of the first, though. Give him that. He ain't he had a hit shot, since he, then. He's going, but I'm just saying. He the was best thing, time to grow up. But you know what? The best thing Bow Wow did was take the little off. That's a, that's got to be the best thing he did out of all them littles. I think the best thing littles he did was young. stop rapping. I think that's the best thing <laughs> Bow Wow did. He did but um, back to Jock. <laughs> We're going to call him Jock. We're going to call him Young. We're going to call him Jock. we call him Jock. Jock. But this is my question for uh, the team right now. He d- he had an interview. You no, know, he had an Instagram post where he said, "Y'all basically he said y'all are talking about me, so I'm winning, yeah. bro. You're getting roasted. When does when does people talking about you result in winning? And does that you're only winning if you're getting a check from it? Right. If you're getting a check from people bashing you and clowning you on the internet, then yeah, you're winning. But I don't I don't know who's cutting that check. And and he <laughs> said there's a movie coming out, but what's the movie? So. We, a movie? We what? don't. Well, who, who, who he playing? David Ruffin? <laughs> <laughs> and they made a meme like that. What the hell? Right in the middle. He's wearing his hair like that because he's in a movie. That's what he said. He must be one of those straight to BET movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no commercials. No, no trailers. <laughs> no, none of that. Straight one to BET. One of those BET. janky promoter type of movies. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to janky promoters though. That's a funny movie. I see but that. I don't. Who? First of all, he can't even act on Love and Hip Hop, and he's being himself. Love and Hip Hop isn't acting. That's what I'm saying. He's, that's the point. Why the hell would he be in a movie if he can't even do his own self or love a hip hop? I mean, I guess it's like a big fall for when you do what's going down and you got nothing after that. Nothing. I think he made like in one year he made like ten million. He did make one. T- he made he made that much yeah. in one year. He, he yeah, did. it was a shock, especially because he was under Puff. So Bad we Boy like, whoa, South. Yeah, Puff allowed South. somebody to make ten million dollars. I'm shocked. But he right. So he made that. But after that, it was like you're gone. So you have to do something. To pay the bills? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know what that got to do with though. his uh, hair being dyed like a temptation. Of well, he's in, a, he's in a movie. You got to take it. What road movie? Did you say the name of the movie? But that's my point. Yeah. How's he winning <laughs> if we don't know the movie and we probably aren't going to watch it? I know I'm not going to watch it. He did say something else at the end of that comment, though. What did he say? I'll still take your chick. Facts. A little bit. I don't uh, know. They okay. find him attractive for some reason. Uh, he bad. Look, he got eight baby, like eight kids. I didn't know that. Five baby Talking moms. to the mic, Keisha. Oh, I'm sorry. He got like eight kids, five baby moms. Like That's he good? Said, I'll, no, no. I'm just pointing out that he said, I'll take your chick. Y'all making fun of me, but I'll take your chick. He be bagging them. He not taking my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that, I guess that, let's, let's, I guess that transitions us into Young Thug. <laughs> Poof. Now the internet really got on this guy about his raiding outfit, his Chinese Chinese outfit, his get up, right? He looked like a foreign tampon. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass. But you know what though? I'm gonna keep it listen. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. I seen the original album cover. Do y'all know what it is? Nah, what is it? The original album cover was him. It was a face shot, neck necking up of a but you could tell he was in a tuxedo and it was like a high school photo. Okay. His album's called Jeffrey. It's called Jeffrey, yeah. And the f- album cover would have been like a high school photo. Made, of him in high school? Made more sense of him gra- like graduating to something different. Right. Who is the white man? Because let's keep it 100. Who is the white man that said, no, Jeffrey, we need you to do this, Jeffrey? Because, oh, no. like, like, think about it, though. His, 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 his first idea, well, one of the ideas was for him to be on the cover smiling with a suit on. Why was that a problem? Why did they make him, not make him, but say, hey, you can get more attention if you put the dress on? I I, I can't. I don't have a fucking answer, man. But I hate that. I don't either, but he still did it. So he did it's, it. It's right. All on him. Right. Like, right. It, it is. But this has been something that's been going on in Atlanta for years. Is it because Andre 3000 is dope? We gave him the pass? Andre 3000, did he really Keisha, dress like a Keisha, on the microphone, oh, Keisha, damn. Did he really dress? Oh, see, he just made me kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like you ain't do it before. <laughs> oh, my. Stop. But... But did Andre 3000 really dress like a woman, though? He was weird. I don't think he, he was dressed, weird. He, Andre 3000 didn't dress like a woman. He just very eccentric to the point it where it's like he would have on Hallelujah pants with shoulder pads. Like, exactly. What the fuck is that? Or uh, what's that um, sport they got in England? And he have like that. Keisha, whole... talk into the well, microphone. I forget. Man. I'm Damn. sorry. He have on like a whole football <laughs> suit, but not really like right. He and he have on weird. like some yeah. thong sandals and uh, <laughs> no shirt and some uh, fucking a former hat. Yeah, it's... like. And CeeLo Green get on stage uh-huh. with the that? um the body the the rainbow. See, he was more seventies. He was more platform. Okay, okay. And, and wigs and uh, colors and stuff like that. I don't see what I seen in them too in him. No, he's but do you could you make the argument? Well, could people make the argument because I'm not that 
since the since the uh, pioneers of Atlanta musicians started dressing in that way, did they set up the platform for yeah. Jeffrey to start wearing women's clothes as if it's okay? Yeah, of course. It goes back to the 80s, too, though. Like, every generation changes. It, it, right. it heightens just a little bit, right? Just a little smidget doesn't make it right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he can always argue that it's not a dress. If you actually look at it, I mean, he can argue that it's not. So technically, in his mind, he's probably never wore a dress. But CeeLo had on a wedding dress. He's admitted to wearing a dress before. Did y'all see CeeLo's wedding dress I picture? did see that. I he did. looked worse than Dennis Rodman. <laughs> I did see it. But, I I I, so it must be the social media thing, I think. Maybe if CeeLo did it now, we'd probably get on him more, and it'd be like a whole big uproar. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Maybe it was, a, but then if, maybe if it was people who felt some kind of way about it, you had to read magazine articles about it back then. Who the hell is reading a magazine now? True. And if you didn't want to read it, you can always skip it. Because I never knew why he wore right, exactly. it. Right. I just, just like, seen what? it and I was like, get out no, of here. I don't want to read that. You just go away with it. But now, since social media and everybody's on social media, there's no way you're not going to see it. Right. So you is know it what safe saying? to say that all attention is good attention? Whether you know, no. You know, I don't know if this equals money, though. I don't know if it they're... It does. We're paying attention and you guys are talking about it. Like, somebody's digging into his info. Somebody's going to go pick I'm up I'm still going to listen to the album, gonna though. Go. I'm going to listen to it. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't criticize it. I can't criticize his album cover to this degree and not actually go listen I to it. Because it, it might be good. I, I, I was but say but I, we've heard him for the last five years. He has yeah. done nothing good. You know, no, nah, I'm not going to say that. Young Thug has a couple of bangers. I will admit. Name it. He has a couple of... Best Friend is dope. Maybe... Uh, Best Friend is a dope record. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> maybe it's just... Maybe it's his voice and that mumbling... You know, no, got. but he actually... He has a lot of pitch and range in his voice. And it's actually really, really, it's actual, it's artistry talent when you look at it. Because the way that he uses his voice and he's able to hit different notes and pitches is actually pretty good. It really is. If you break it down like that, I get you. I think with me is, I'm always like a first impression type of guy. So when I heard Lifestyle, I think it's the first time I paid it. And I said, I don't know what you're saying. And I think you're doing it on purpose. You're insulting my intelligence. And I don't like nothing you do. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> From here on out. No, I agree. I judged it just like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, really? I did, like, I did too, but on everything, it come a point where it's like, all right, this guy's not going away. People obviously like him for some reason. I need I need a little bit more because I, I don't think I've actually heard enough before. Like, before the Best Friend record came out, I didn't hear enough of him to actually go, I don't like him or not. I just didn't like what I heard initially. But I, I, I can listen to a little more and be like, all right, well, it's not that bad. I don't know enough people to listen to him. I honestly don't hang with anybody that... Why you got to know people that listen to him for well, you to listen what, to Well, for him? me to be around it. I already said off right. of the first impression, I didn't like it. So I'm like, I'm not listening. So I, to be honest, I've only heard that best so, song so, once. So when you and your friends out and y'all drinking because y'all get drunk all the time. I see all you on time. Snap. Y'all don't be like, that's my best friend. That's my best friend. You know, I know. I, I seen you did it. Shut I, up. I think I think if Jeffrey was dope as a lyricist, we might give him a, we might give him a pass. I think if all these new artists... We're dope. We'd give him a pass. Hey, yo, you know, speaking of new artists, I asked the question. I was running the Twitter, the Podcast Brothers Twitter, for like all Friday, I think it was. And I, I did a poll. Who is, who is the worst new rapper out? Is it Designer, Kodak Black, Lil Yachty, or Lil Uzi Vert? How can you I pick? I don't even know the last three you said. <laughs> <laughs> How can you choose? I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't check the results from it. But in my opinion, shit, I'm going to have to go with Kodak Black. It was it was tied at um it was tied with little yachty little yachty is it Kodak yachty Black. or yacht little yacht yachty like yacht like yacht club yeah so yachty little yachty and Kodak remember. Black now here's why I voted for Kodak Black as the worst because what he said about black women yes yep I, what he say what he say what he say I don't respect that at all he said he don't want a black he, I don't know if he said bitch or not but basically he said I don't want a black bitch because I'm dark enough gotcha. and he so basically, basically he basically just went all white like I just. I won't respect nothing he ever does. Like, he's in and out of jail, can't get out, and I don't really care. I don't care nothing about Kodak Black. But when it comes down to Little Yachty... Isn't Kodak a camera? <laughs> Shut up, man. He got a black... He's, his name is Camera Black? Camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like... Uh, yeah, we're going to call him Camera Black. Camera Black. All right. <laughs> now, but Little Yachty made some um, news this week because he couldn't name five Biggie and Tupac songs. You know what? This is the same young man on everything who said that if I, he said, no, was that Uzi Vert? Uzi Vert was on Hot 97. He said, uh, Ebro went in the freestyle. Yep. Oh, yeah. And he was yeah, like, yeah, Yo, I'm not rapping one. on the old ass beats, bro. If you put that old ass shit on, I'm not rapping on it. <laughs> <laughs> <I see that. laughs> 
He's like, I'm rap. I'm, he's like, you see me, bro? I'm a rock star, bro. I'm not rapping uh, on that old ass shit. He was serious. He was dead too. serious, right? Serious. So, so, so then, so Lil Yachty was on uh, Breakfast Club, and he was like, he said, man, these old ass niggas got to get out the way, man. If I want to get on the track and say, yeah, 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 do the whole fucking track and it's turned, then I'm going to let it be turned. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> He said, if I want to say, yeah, 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 on the whole track, I'm going to let it be turned. All because y'all support. Y'all support. Who? That's Who? the thing. I don't know who supports this. It's a different era, man. It's a it's whole a era, era of pill-popping, lean-sipping crackheads. Fact. He's a new crackheads. <laughs> In my era, they sell the drugs. In this era, they do the drugs. Yeah. Here's my question, though. Like I on said, everything. Little Yachty got criticized for not knowing Biggie and Pac songs. But if he was dope... Would we care? Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. If he knew them, if he knew five Biggie and Tupac songs, would we care? Either way. No. I like him better. You would like him better? I will. I think you got to have knowledge of what you're doing before you do it, man. Exactly. Regardless of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he obviously, I don't know if he doesn't have the knowledge or he just doesn't care, but either way, you got to have knowledge. You got to know the history of what you, what the fuck you're doing. You would you? Saying? Let me tell you something. You know why that's disrespectful? That's I'm disrespectful, about to, I'm about man. to clown myself a little bit. You may, you can laugh all you want. I was I watching, sure will. I, I was wait. watching, I was watching wrestling the other day. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Sun, oh, see, see. <laughs> Pay per view, right? Let me let me let me <laughs> let me tell you this. Two white boys came out. Enzo and Kaz, right? They were in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. White boy wears Jordans. He thinks he's hip hop. He is hip hop. Hip hop is a state of mind. I'm not saying because he's white he can't be hip hop. But he comes out, right? He gets the mic, holds it, and says it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazines. Uh, Twenty thousand wrestling fans sung Biggie's rap. They sung Juicy. <laughs> That's dope. Little Yachty does not know Juicy. He don't know Juicy, though? He said he didn't know. I don't know what Pacific songs he don't know. He got to know Juicy. He need to know that. 20,000 white, black, Latinos, they sung. Two white people. Dog. I mean, what do you really expect from a grown man with red... Braids and bees on the end of his hair. Yo, that just made me mad, man. <laughs> Give me two. I name, name, name five. Name five Pac and Biggie songs right now, or just one or the other, both of you, right now. Hail Mary, to live and die in L.A. How do you want it? Toss it up. California, California love. love, dear mama. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I mean, I can go on and on. Biggie, Juicy, Big Papa, Ten Crack Commandments. Ten Crack Commandments. Uh, uh. I know him. It's just stuck in my head. Warning. Warning. You feel me? One more chance. Hypnotize. One more oh, chance. Yeah. Hypnotize you know what the what with Method Man. The what? what? More money. More money. More. Oh man. Party and bullshit. Yo. Oh, you feel man. me? Oh man. Like it's don't don't record. think because I got stuck. I didn't know. It's just so many that I just couldn't think of which one to say. But like uh, it's 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 crazy out here. Don't put on no old beats. That's like I'm not rapping on the old ass shit, bro. Yo, these. The, the new generation, they don't break dance. They don't. They don't. They don't do graffiti. But they. But uh, you know what else is weird? So the only thing they keeping alive in hip hop, I'm gonna say, is fashion. They are Fa- fashion. Yes, fashion. It's, 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 I don't like the way these niggas dress. I don't like nothing it's about so many different kinds. And not the what's his was that young thug he was. I'm yeah, saying. Jeffrey. Yeah. Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey. 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 Um, that's a whole nother category but i think they keep in fashion alive and everything like it's too many you think they're keeping it alive or they're slowly strangling and shit i think they're keeping <laughs> it alive because we didn't have that much ownership of it then like don't nobody own that, nothing oh, back they in don't the own 80s, the shit they wearing though oh i'm talking well i guess i'm thinking kanye you know i know who got their brand who the fuck is wearing that? that well what people wearing kanye uh ripped up t-shirts and stuff they're not kanye they're they not yeezy shirts though no, they're, they're just some knockoff with holes yeah. in it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Knock off a hose in it. Let's not forget how much I, a Yeezy shirt costs. You no, know, no, Yeezy shirt is like twenty two hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck kind of material is that, Kanye? I thought it was just his sneakers that he was just. The sneakers you know, are dope. Kanye sneakers are hot, but sneakers his like five hundred. But something I'm just saying, I thought they were the only like thing that, that was expensive. I thought his clothes was just trendy. no, because no, Kanye, no. Kanye wants to be a uh, uh, a designer like mm-hmm. Ralph Lauren or Saint uh, or, or YSL or. Uh, uh, Louis, he wants his name mentioned in those categories with those big time designers. So that's why a Yeezy shirt with seven holes in it. No, that's disappointing. I that's think, made I out of a Hanes t shirt. they were saving something. No, but. I think what <laughs> no. set Kanye West off is, is if you actually think about it, it's called Sean John, but some investor came in yeah. and takes most of the money from Diddy. Rock Aware, an investor came in, you know, Jay and Dane got a piece of a brand that everybody thought was theirs. So I think what Kanye is trying to do is say, this is me, all me, 
Like, he saw how the business works. Well, it ain't working. It ain't working. So we don't have the fashion either. We what don't have nothing. No. Hip-hop is going. I'm pretty like, sure that's a designer dress Young Thug is wearing from uh, some fucking fashion <laughs> designer in Tokyo some damn where. It might not be a dress. I'm looking at it right now. It Bro, got, what else? What, those, they not pants. I don't know what that is, man. I'm looking at it right his now. Legs, <laughs> his legs. Well, you guys might the, be right. We losing it then. <laughs> oh, man. We all. But even, like, even, matter of fact, man. Fuck the way these niggas dress. Hey, man. I just got mad. <laughs> I want to give a special shout out in the middle of the show to uh, Leslie Jones, man. Shout out to Leslie Jones, the African-American man. African-American actress, the star of Ghostbusters. Man, she, listen, man, they done hacked her page, leaked her nudes, compared her to the um, gorilla that was killed. Yeah, in the, uh, in the zoo, when the boy yeah, jumped Yeah, in the zoo. I mean, I, it's, it's messed up that they did that to her, but I don't know who would want to see her nudes. Well, that's not the point. <laughs> it's not, but it's like, bro, really? Here's the thing, though. Not one body's the same. That's true. So I'm confused about, you know, where's the big deal? Somebody finds her attractive. Oh, yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're so right. I'm, I'm just confused because everybody that you do find attractive or that everybody do put on a display, they fake. But right. shots and true. all and all right. that. Exactly. So you can't appreciate a normal body, then, yeah, you go... I was about to say something bad, but this is say it, man. I'll go jerk fuck? off, then, because you know. You know what I'm, just <laughs> no, I'm just saying, though. Like that's, uh, I just wish all somebody my jerked off to those news. Exactly somebody my did. point. Exactly. But, uh, my your, point. your news ever got leaked, Kish? In college? Uh, you sent the wrong. Not with my you face. sent the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Being you honest, sent, you not sent with that news to the wrong number on the drunk night. Oh man. <laughs> Ah. Numbers of times, but like I said, not with my face. That's what these celebrities need to stop doing. They need to stop doing whole body. Face but I think shots. it being like in the iCloud. Man, I don't know I'll deny about, it. Then that was I don't my phone. About, I don't know nothing about <laughs> iCloud. Face, but, right? um, but if saying, your face isn't in if it, my face isn't in it, and then my pictures get leaked. Then it nah, because then the internet is real, man. They start looking at tattoos on your shoulder <laughs> and shit. Like, oh, well, good, well, good thing you're not a celebrity because nobody's yeah, right? really going to take the time and say, let me decipher who this is. But I definitely wanted to shout out. Um, Shout out her, man. Like, Did anybody yeah. see? That? I don't. I haven't heard anything about the Ghostbusters movie either. I heard she was on only funny. Well, yeah. I she heard is the funny, though. She, she got movie. a lot of zingers. Yeah, I heard the movie wasn't good. Yeah, but I'm, that's I'm exactly waiting for it to come out. I heard and it wasn't good, but she was only funny. Ain't come out yet? But they're, no, it's out in the movies, but oh, it's not on oh. DVD. But, oh, they're, okay. but they're taking it out on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, like That the movie wasn't good? They're taking that out on her? Yeah, social media. Oh, man. For some wow. reason, she's the only one that they're picking on. Like, you don't hear nothing about the other three, other True. four stars. Yeah, especially True. the one that I'm disappointed in. I forget her name, the one who lost weight. She made me the, mad. The she, big chick. She, she was funny. Yeah, she was funny, but yeah. she's now conforming to the whole, oh, I need to lose weight and all that to become the big star that I need to be. I like, thought about that, too. I'm like, yo, now that you lost your weight, you're, you're not, not that funny, yeah, right? Like, I don't really want to <laughs> see you. Yeah. Like, you were who you were because of your whole presentation. She pulled the Jennifer Hudson on me. I mean, you can't be mad at her for trying to better herself, though. Oh, not at all. Maybe it's she was health, dangerous. Health Maybe she was dangerously important. fat. You know, who knows? I agree. Health Maybe, is important. Yeah. Health is important. Yeah, health is important. But I agree. I mean, but your body's your brain. I'm sitting here with two of the biggest workout freaks I know, but yet they're getting on somebody because they're not fat no I more. I just said your body no, is your no. brain. Like, I, I get it. <laughs> you know I get issue. what you're saying. <laughs> she, she didn't look. Like she was in danger. Exactly. That and, doesn't mean and she was. Besides wasn't. that, they photoshopped a picture of her. She did a movie with um Sandra Bullock. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. Yeah, that last movie she did, they screenshot um a picture of her and made her look smaller. Then they started attacking her weight and doing interviews. Every since then, she lost weight. It listen, got listen. to her. That's how I looked at when it. When you're when you're on the big time level of any kind of uh any kind of brand or any type of scene, you're gonna get you're gonna get attacked. It's the it's the word it's the age of the internet. There's nothing that you can do everything right and you're still gonna get attacked on social media. It doesn't matter. Don't matter. That's true. Yeah. I mean and at the same time, the way her career was going, she was making funny movies that was like kinda like in the middle. And somebody could have approached her was like, Listen, if you wanna go to the top, you gotta make a few of these changes. And losing weight is one. Yeah. So so society Not... shows that no one overweight or it looks a certain way, ugly. I'm sorry, you cannot be successful is that a, all around. Is, is that a male thing, or is that only towards male, or is that towards female women? I because there are a lot of women. Fat, yeah, women. women. Yeah, women. Yeah, there are a lot women. of fat guys. Because look at Jonas. That's his name, right? Jonah Hill. Jonah he lost Hill. weight. He lost a lot but of weight. But before that, he was he was fine. I thought he put it back on. He put that weight back on. He did on. put it he back did. on. He, he put did. That weight and back it's on. nasty too. He did. I watched no, because I watched 22 Jump Street last night. Yeah, he put that weight back on. That movie funny as hell. 
He looked like he wake up in the morning and just eat a pizza, like before he even brushes his teeth. <laughs> but he did put the weight back. On yeah, he put that, and, then, he did. and that's why, like, I was, okay, so they attacked um her, and that's I guess that's why they're going after Leslie Jones. Mm-hmm. But you know, I, I just wanted to shout her that out, man, opener. and show my support for her. I think she left Twitter. I think she, you know, she she deleted her account. She deleted her account because it was man, too much. Shout right? out to Leslie she Jones, man. I know, you know what I'm real. saying? It's all good, baby. You can come on the podcast, brothers. You can tell your story right here, like a live e interview. You understand? And I'm curious to know if you really got a check from for being a commentator for the Olympics because that was hilarious. They she invited her. They invited her. They seen her tweets, um, or whatever about the Olympics. She was like going in on swimming, soccer, but in her own way. And they said that they invited her out to Rio and stuff. Like gave her mad USA gear and stuff like that. I just want to know if you got paid for it and stuff because she was funny. Like she kept me involved in it. Like, What's up? I think. Th- well, I think. In the Olympics, the endorsements pay them. I don't think they get oh, paid yeah, for that right. stuff. I don't right. think nobody. Yeah, they only right. get like an you're hourly right. pay or some shit like that. You're right, you're right. But anyway, shout out to her though. She was funny. She was but, like, "Look at that motherfucker swim." She's hilarious. Hey, yo, you know what? I don't know what the broadcast. The broadcast people. They might was it on TV. Yeah, they did. Um, they only did, you know, because she was cursing and all that. They couldn't do all of it, but yeah. most of it was do like Good Morning America and stuff like that. Ah, yeah, I, I don't know. She should. Hopefully, she got a check for that, man. Because <laughs> Ghostbusters is supposed to be like her catapult towards like stardom, stardom man. right? Yeah. That's hey, exactly yo, what it was. Check this out, right now. I don't, I don't remember exactly what day this was, but it was recently within like the last day or two or something like that. D Wade cousin was tragically murdered. You know what I'm saying? According to his tweet. He was, she was walking down the street with a stroller, and she just got she got shot. She got killed. It's fucked up, right? This asshole, Donald fucking Trump. What what did he say again? Because I don't want to fuck it up because it's too important of a of a of a message not his, to fuck his, it up. What his did he tweet say? says, and I'm just going to quote what the tweet said: Dwayne Wade's cousin was shot and killed walking her baby in Chicago. Just what I have been saying: African Americans will vote Trump. What the fuck does that mean? What the what does what does this woman being murdered have to? How does that work to people of African Americans voting for Trump? How? Um, I don't see the correlation. I get what he was saying because please explain. I don't know if you watched before when he did when he addressed African Americans for the first time publicly. He said in his speech that, um, "What do we have to lose?" Quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he was talking about, okay, we live in poverty, we're poor, we got low-income jobs, and our neighborhoods are bad to the point where we're getting shot up. So he's saying, what do you have to lose voting for me? And that's why he wrote that tweet. Voting, really how does it get that. better voting right. for you? Oh, he, no, I know. He, I don't no, no, that's, but he didn't, he didn't say any of that. Like, okay, vote for me. You might as well. What do you mean we might as well? So does, stuff how does like it that get can be- stop happening. How? He didn't explain how right. it exactly. gets better. How does it get better by we, us voting for you? I that's don't my get point. It. What's what's the strategy? You know what I'm saying? Know. You might as well vote for me. You see your people are getting killed. How, what? Hey, How does that folks, work in your favor? You got nothing to lose. That don't make no damn sense, man. <laughs> he said he could fix the Chicago murder rate in a week. He said that. So why does he have to be president to do that? Facts. <laughs> well, he's, I think he asked, I think they asked him if he talked to the mayor or the um, chief of police, one of the two. Oh, and he said that he hasn't, but he's sure that that person has a plan. So basically, he doesn't want to step on, or quote unquote, step on nobody's shoes in Chicago. But if he was president, he fixed Chicago within a week. Shouldn't that be a plan that whoever the president is should have that rapport with whoever the head guy is in Chicago? This man has no clue. It, it's, it, that agenda isn't isn't specifically geared towards Donald Trump. That should be your overall agenda regardless of who's president. And if you're smart, you know that Donald Trump, it's like Barack Obama. Everybody wants him to go fix Chicago, but it doesn't work that way. Does There's it? a chain of command. There's a mayor. There's a governor. Like, there's people in Chicago who needs to do their job. You yes. can't just walk <laughs> in there and say, I'm going right. to step on you and do my job because it just doesn't work that way. And that's why it's important to vote, people. It is important. Oh, to speak. Oh, uh, just saying. I, I, I think that was a segue into something Keisha wanted to get into <laughs> no, before. Only because I, I don't know if you guys, I find it, I, I get mad. Like, I don't understand. And I do understand why Trump made it this far in Hillary. Like, I feel like all of his conspiracy. Hillary cheated. And it, well, they setting this up so her she can win overall. I'm gonna tell I'm you, I don't get it, and I don't think the Republicans understand it. I think they just jumped on a bandwagon because he was there. Yeah, they didn't want him a there. Businessman to be president, like nobody wants him in office. They want their they want their club in. They want the red in. They want That's the, what they want. They, they don't want him in. Because let me tell you something, right? You know how long it took for motherfuckers to endorse 
Donald Trump on the Republican side. Yeah, they, yeah. they didn't want him. They in. was holding out, endorsing this motherfucker now, for a long time. But here's my thing: this is how dumb the Republicans are, and that's not saying the Democrats are smart, but this is how dumb Republicans are. Mitt Romney won the white man's vote. He did right, blew it out the water, but he got blown out the water in every other category in the United States. Barack Obama won blacks, women. And any other Hispanics. you can name, Hispanics, Mitt Romney won white men, the white American vote, men. Donald Trump, his campaign was talking about other races, building walls, didn't do nothing for African Americans, make America great again, which <laughs> means what? Back to which slavery. Which means back to slavery, <laughs> because if you ask anybody, when nobody can tell America you great. when America was great. When? When? So well, I guess when they didn't have to use condoms, just saying, just saying, little mic. That sounds pretty great. I'm just saying. That I sounds mean, pretty that's great. Little, uh, before the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds don't know. pretty great. Sorry. Yeah. That's what he talking about, America. He didn't really say that. Did. If he said that, if he said that, then I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> maybe it was great at that point, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, welcome to Donald Trump and ask him that, and he gives you that answer. You're going to have a shit face. Like, hmm. and, and, speaking of, and speaking of Trump, man, hey, I want to give a special shout out to everybody down in Baton Rouge, man, who lost their homes due to that uh, flash flood. Yeah. The whole city is completely underwater. Did you see Donald Trump down there passing out boxes? He looked like he didn't want to be there. Well, we know he don't. He looked like he had, he had like he was just aimlessly passing. I don't even think he was looking at the person he was passing the box to. The guy on the truck was passing him in the box, and he was just handing it off. Like, it, Donald Trump looks like a moving wax figure. <laughs> he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, he has no... Exp- it, I don't get any kind of heartfelt emotions or anything out of what he does. It's like he's just doing everything out of necessity. All right, let me do this so these motherfuckers will vote for me, man. But we know that. Like, he doesn't write his own... St- well, does he write his own stuff? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't even read the stuff they write for okay, him. Okay, so, so, <laughs> right. so, so who's script. who's as ignorant as he is because... The tweet came from him. Yeah. African Americans vote Trump. Then he sent out my my prayers are out to yeah, the family, right? But we, we all know that your prayers aren't out to them. But he cleaned it up. So, but Donald Trump's is on his Twitter handle. Who is as dumb as him writing these things? Why aren't people helping him? That's what I mean about the Mitt Romney. Now, if you know you lost every other vote except for the white man, why did you come in attacking everybody but the white man? And now you're saying vote African, for me. He's in Iowa. <laughs> in front of a bunch of white people saying, hey, listen, African-Americans, <laughs> it's not one African-American in your audience, and you're telling these white people. <laughs> I thought it was, he was in get Iowa. Get the fuck out of here with that, man. Hey, you I know, thought it was pretty funny, too. The Mojave wins, like, you know what? I think we might have, I you think know we might have got the wrong guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just want us to vote, though, only so we could keep it on our side. I, I'm not for Hillary. I'm, I'm saying that openly. I'm not for Trump. Um, but I am going to vote for Hillary. <laughs> so it's like, I felt the burn. You, you got to pick the lesser of two evils here. I, used, I, I was in. I was in for it for the burn. But I do. I have a prediction that in four years, well, after this whole after this presidential thing campaign. right here, yeah. that um, I think Michelle will get a shot. So I I want to keep it on our side. No, I think eight. She can't. She uh, can't battle Hillary. Like she had to wait till Hillary leaves. Like well, she ain't, Hillary. I hope she don't get two terms. Then that means a Republican gets the fourth. I no, mean, if, if Hillary if, gets in, if Hillary, if Hillary gets, gets in, listen, she get they're not going to they're not going to allow the Democrats to run in office for like tw- twelve years. They, a, a Republican is going to get that Why spot. They, they're stupid. They're going to a Republican is going to get this spot after a while. Last, we got lucky. Oh, we got lucky for the last. We got years, lucky. It's over, Jerry. No, it's too many for the last eight involved. years. I hope. I hope it is. But it, it the way be. that the world works, I don't see it continuously Bruh, being in the favor. They brought they brought McCain in. He brought Sarah Palin. Stupid. They brought, uh, uh, what's his name? I just said the same. Mitt Romney. He didn't know a thing. Now they got Donald Trump. So, it, so that means eight years Barack Obama. These are the best men that they can four, present. 12 years, and they still can't figure it out. What makes you think in the next four they will? Democrats win. I don't, you want to know, no, why? I don't you wanna think... know why I say Democrats win for another 12 years, too? Hispanics. We're not the money. I mean, uh, white people aren't the minority anymore. I mean, anymore. Hispanic. I mean, you know what the I fuck? mean. Hispanics <laughs> aren't a minority anymore. They're taking over. They're Democrats, all of them. I have not yet met one Hispanic that's not like we're gonna win. Oh, I just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're and, that's, and um, I don't know, man. I just 
the way that the world works, I just I think like we'll get a bush in that motherfucker. So let me, the way that the world. Let works. me show you this, right? He tried the, to sneak the Democrats, in. Cousin or something. Yeah. The Democrats <laughs> didn't want Barack Obama in, but they saw him and they said, "Man, we got to get him in there, right?" Yeah. And it worked because Barack Obama is just a classy stand-up guy. What the Republicans do? They went and found any black man they could find. Yeah. Ben Carson, and we just <laughs> and they thought, well, because he's black, the blacks would support him. He ain't him. got the juice like that, nigga. That's what. That's my point. They don't. They don't understand. He ain't got the juice like that. Let's bro. go find us our own our black gen- men. Our generation is, are now adults. You know, we, yeah. we we listen, we read, and we know what's going on. It's we, we're no supposed way. to listen. We're supposed to read. But wait, I, I feel like we win it, and I feel like I feel strongly like that for like the next year, eight to ten years. Like we win it. I don't know, I, but this Trump thing. It's not. Listen, man. He's I'm not. Badly. I'm not predicting nothing with politics, man. I don't know shit about politics. I honestly ain't start paying attention to politics until Barack's second term. To keep it a hundred with you, I really ain't give a shit. Now, I'm paying a little. I know a little bit more, so I'm I'm listening a little closely and I'm, I'm analyzing what they're doing. I still don't know the ins and outs of it, but I know that politics or ex- it, the definition of politics is the word itself. It's politics. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen to where somebody's going to weasel their way in and make the shit in their favor and not the favor of everyone. Yeah, so, but but, that's how I feel. but don't feel bad because we're talking eight Hell years. No, I ain't I mean, eight bad. years ago, you could like, who was you still like early twenties? So at the yeah. end of the day, yeah, like we was kids when Bush was in kind of yeah. like when I personally, when, I personally took politics in college because I like the uh, argument behind it. I like the debate. You yeah, know, you like, got that I, damn I like right. yeah. Shut up. I like the fun in politics. So I've always been into politics, but I never cared about politics up until ugh, yeah, I graduated college two thousand eight. Right. It right. was a real recession going on, and people failed to realize that. Well, and I had to look in to see what was going on and who was the cause behind that and X, Y, and Z. I like, guess I guess I had the opposite effect because the more – because first off, I was just told I was a Democrat. I'll be honest. You don't know why, right? right? Yeah, right. I was – Think about it. For, it took me the longest time to you're figure right. out what the difference was yeah, between like, Republicans well, and Democrats in the first place. You say, no, well, why right. am I a Democrat? Right. Like, right. But I was told. It's like I was born a Democrat, didn't know why. Because so, you're black. And poor. But that's, first. but that's really not the real, right? Though it's like, yeah. that's what they tell, you, they but tell you. But yeah. once you really start doing the knowledge, you're like, man, all of y'all is crooked. I don't like nothing about yep, exactly. it. Exactly. That's why I say I like the argument and debate behind it. But I do, I, I will say this, out of me paying attention to politicians and politics all this time, it's always one person you do agree with, though, more than the other. That's where the line goes. That's where I the would line love goes. to have, like, I don't care what color you rep, the blue or the red, Democrat or Republican. I'm listening to you. Exactly. I'm going to listen to you. And if you say something, like like McCain could have said something deep, and I would have been like, all right, Barack, I'm going with McCain. It was never because you're black. Yep. I don't care what McCain says. I'm, I'm the same way. Mitt Romney was just corny from the beginning. You knew he knew nothing. Well, it was because Barack was black for me. <laughs> yeah, well, it was because he was black. Was, it happened. I'm not going to cover shit up. So I didn't, like I said, <laughs> I right prior to that, I didn't know shit about politics anyway. And I knew that we never had a black president. Man, let us have this shit. Like, now, I'm not, I, like now, I wasn't for Hillary and I'm a woman. Are you surprised? I was for Bernie Sanders. I was for Bernie Sanders, too. That That's crazy because I think everybody was for Bernie Sanders, everybody was, but he still no, lost. No, it was just our generation. <laughs> Hillary I the cheated. Difference. I argued with a lot of people over this in my mom age group, my aunt Dolores and all them, like all of them, like she's a pastor. They you said all aunt Dolores, like we know. I them. know right who's that? My aunt, because <laughs> I cannot not call her Aunt Dolores. But yeah, like they all was for Hillary because they couldn't get past. They couldn't see where the money was going to come from for him to send kids to school for college and stuff like that. They couldn't see. They didn't see his vision. You know who Hillary? We did, you know who Hillary came and reminds me of? Who? She reminds me of Jason's mom. What? The serial killer. <laughs> you stupid, Voorhees. She was yeah, never, Jason Voorhees. She was never in the movies. She, I didn't, oh, she no, no, reminds she me. One, like, she was in a movie. She yes, was she was. She couple, was in one. Yeah, she was in one. When she she reminds was, me of Jason Voorhees' mom. <laughs> Explain that. <laughs> you ain't never seen Jason Voorhees' mom in the movies? Yeah, she was in the, I seen a few scenes. She's like, Jason, go kill. And that was all I seen. Do you That's say that enough. She's like a creepy, like. I think Hillary, <laughs> I think if you like. Hillary's the kind of person, she strikes me as the kind of person, if you like, if you got a secret on her and you try to expose it on her, she'd be like, uh, everybody exit the room, close the door behind you. She's like, look, you little shit. <laughs> you will not fuck up what I got going here today. You understand me? All I will have smile you, on her face. All right? with a smile on her face. She strikes me as the creepy serial killer type, type would, with a smile on her face. Hillary would, got secrets. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely like Hillary better without singing Beyonce songs. Without, like, all of that. I we don't need that. none of that. Uh, we don't that's need what none makes of that. That's that's one what of the makes it, that's that what makes it corny. Yeah, it's exactly. like, yo, like, we don't, like, motherfuckers always insinuate 
trying to connect with the black people with connecting to hip hop. That's <laughs> whack. Don't fucking do that. Just be who you down. are. You know what I'm saying? Because if you really, if you really want to help us, you're gonna do it without mentioning the good things that we have going for us. You don't have to always, exactly. you don't mention them Beyonce and Jay-Z. Oh, man, I, I got all Jay-Z's albums. I don't give a fuck. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> Let's keep it 100. The kids think Jay-Z is corny now anyway. Yeah, Facts. Yeah. Let's He's keep old. it honest. He's it pisses old. me off. The kids, do. the kids of Lil Yachty, today. man. Go get that new little Yachty album. <laughs> if, yeah, Hillary Clinton, if you're not talking about little Yachty, Kodak Black, kids don't want to hit. Camera Black. Yeah, you feel me on Code everything. That camera, black. I gotta force my whole projects to vote every time we get them little papers. You yeah. know where you go. I yeah. gotta vote in Dolly Homes and my brother. Keisha, why don't you run, why don't you go work in the city hall, man? He twenty one. My youngest go sit now. He twenty one, and I all his whole little clip be standing there. I make all of them go get their papers so we mm. can vote. Like, Keisha, so how, Keisha, how you, Keisha's like the big sister of the hood. Try to be. How do you convince them? Like, what's your message? Like, why should they go? Like. First off, oh, I'm I talk about sure. incarceration. I be like, uh, do you do you not understand that you about to get 17 for attempt, or um, you got um, a stash over there? You could get up to 10 years. You know what I mean? But it's white boys getting away with rape. You know they getting mm. two months probation. Yeah. Did you see that? I did. And, then the, and then the black boy got uh, the black boy was texting his girlfriend, 16 year old girlfriend, news and videos. He got arrested. He got arrested and sentenced yeah, to something else. But that white boy raped those two, uh, raped two people who were unconscious. Yes. He didn't get arrested, and he got like two months probation or some then, bullshit then like that. the one that was in college on the swim team because the judge said um, he has a promising future, you know. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> Lord, but have mercy. That stuff like that burns. And I tell my brothers in them that, and I tell the projects, and I go in on them, and I'm like, this is why y'all stuck around here. Like, I preach to the projects. Like, I go See, here's, in. <laughs> here's my thing. Yep. Here's I my go. thing. Right now, I shot it out. Um, see, here's my thing: white, the the white people, right? The white women that this is happening to. Why don't we hear from them? That's that's that, that's just me. You know, so I'm saying it's like we don't mind. Did that? They would been right. We don't mind. Hush money. We don't. It, is it worth it? Hush money. They got probably. it. Probably. They got it. Hush money. Probably. Hush I mean, money. they got. They it. probably. They probably get. They probably give them hush money and make them sign a non disclosure agreement for them. And it goes back to. They sticking with their own kind, and that's exactly, I guess, why you should vote because at the end of the day, the laws don't favor us. No, so I guess their thinking is, no matter who we vote for, we're going to still be in the projects. That's their thinking. No matter who we vote for, we're still going to be in a situation. But it's a lot of things that we can change that you really don't even know you can change. Like, yeah, right. exactly. And yeah. I was told that my brother, let me know when shit change. I said, let me know when you decide to do something to make it change. Mm. So you know, uh, we go is back that, and Did forth. you blame that? Did you blame that? Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I didn't even say what oh, the fuck sorry. I was going to say. <laughs> 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 did, you to that, did you blame that? Did you blame that as a or uh, on a lack of knowledge, or you blame that on just a young man being a young man, not knowing no better? No, lack like, lack of opportunity. I think our whole situation resolves around opportunity. If I had the options that I that I know some other people, the white people had and stuff, if I was to put my brothers or you guys in these situations to excel, it'd happen. Mm. Just like that, we're too smart. It's we just, are. It's just, we just we don't just know. Are. We just, we just don't, don't know where to start. Exactly. Like, um, for example, I probably helping people out too with like financial aid and stuff. They'd be like, "How'd you get through college? You know, you grew up in the projects, and you, you know, your mom just do housekeeping and stuff. Like, they just be so baffled by like confused. Like, how did you do it? Should I ask myself that question about you too? Yeah. <laughs> do you know how much? Free <laughs> no, money? I know. You I know. know. Yeah, you I know. know. <laughs> like, and it's all about research. I swear, I cried every semester to get back in school. You know that, like, uh-huh. but it was all about finding the money and stuff like that, right. and what's how to set yourself up for opportunities. And oh, and everything. Don't know. Keisha is a motherfucking book whiz, dog. And people and before know. she even got her degree, you can go sit on her couch. What's your up. issues? And she, 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 you know what I'm saying? Run, give you the rundown on them. I used to call Keisha. I am Keisha, an observer. Sis, man, I got a problem, yo. I am an observer. That's all. When you pay attention, you, you learn so we much We all need more. an observer in our lives. I think we all do. Because some, because there's a lot of things we just don't see. You don't listen to me when I tell you about yourself. Me? <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> you're not an observer. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't see? <laughs> You're not. A, you're not. A, <laughs> you're, just, I can look at you. Saying, and, he just saying overall. I can <laughs> listen. If I can't observe my brother, then something's the fuck wrong. What have you told me? And I just waved you off. Man, Name look, something. You yeah. want me to go down the goddamn <laughs> yeah. list? Yeah. Hey, shout out to King Dean, man. Cause Dean be on the same wave I am. You know what I mean? I don't know. What I ain't gonna about. get into that. Though. That's taken away from the topic. 
Sibling Rivalries Part 2 coming but, soon, goddammit. Yes, but I... Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Y'all should do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yo... Y'all tra- have a healthy... You know, because y'all remind me of my brothers, I tell you that. Transitioning the topics, right? So... We got um it's a it's a host of it's a host of good black TV programs out there yes. that people aren't watching. But there are a host of negative black TV shows out there that people are watching. Why is that, Keisha? What and what are the black shows t- people should be watching compared to the black shows people are watching? You guys watch Underground? Just like, don't know what the hell it. that is. I watched it. Damn. High five All right, high five. Damn, I don't get a brother's high five. No. Is it my fault I don't know what the show is? God. Is it my fault? I don't know this show. Is it I, really? You're right. You're right. Underground it's, was a good show. That was that what? Was what? Awesome. What network does this come on? Exactly. W N G C or G. The fuck? And you know what? Right? I don't think that was. I think I, I thought it was W N N C. No, it was like a. If it was A M C, I would have heard about it. I watch A M C all the time. W G N C or something. It really was a W. What is that? That's like one of those channels that still got commercials. Or it does the Squiggly Line program. No, shut up. But it's a it's an off cam cable brand. But what I do know is um John Legend is behind it. He's one of the producers. He's he's coming up. I um y'all need to look into his uh shows. He's also behind that Obama and Michelle story. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah. He's getting his producing on, but underground, it, that, underground's not what you think. You know, you think underground, the railroad. You know, all tell us that. the plot to this TV show Underground that comes on the station ABC. It's ABC. It's, it's not on ABC, <laughs> man. Some shit like that. It's like ABC. <laughs> it's the it's it's uh, the underground through our perspective, not how the white people think it went. Okay. So uh, it's about rebellion more than what anything. time period is this. Um, during the slavery, you know, okay. during the Underground Railroad, the next season they're actually going to introduce um, um, who helped get the slaves away through the Underground Railroad. Harriet Tubman? Oh, I was just making sure you knew. What the just fuck? Saying. I was I'm about to get saying. mad as hell. <laughs> but Harriet Tubman, they're going to introduce her in this next upcoming season or whatever. But like I said, it's from a, the rebellion perspective. I don't know about y'all, but when I was taught about the Underground Railroad stuff, all they said, oh, you know, they had these houses and slaves try to escape and da da da. But we never knew what those slaves was actually going through, what they mind was. During the process. Was. This show, right. show it. Like, they was it, they, was it they, that they Slaves. bombs and shit. They setting people up. They having sex with the masters to get keys and stuff. Like it get deep. Like oh, it just, shit. Yeah, you might want to watch. It's pretty I juicy. Watch that. I so it. what do you? Th- what black TV shows do you think people shouldn't watch as much? Empire. As they do? It's on Fox for one. I, should I say any more? Do, do you guys not have a problem with Fox? I have a big problem with Empire, but I watch it. That's the I problem. do too. Oh That's no, no, problem. I do like, too. But I, I just, I'm just I saying, like Empire, I hate Fox as a network. Fox. Period. I hate the fact that Empire is on Fox. It pisses me. So you would like you would like Empire more if it was on HBO? Of course. Okay. Yep, I like it more. What's your problem with Fox? Do you ever watch Fox News? Yeah, Fox. And the commentators no. Fox and in everything. Itself. No, I don't right. watch They're it. They're the racist, the most racist I, And network I only watch Empire towards like African on Americans. Demand. Oh, okay. They're the most racist network towards African Americans. They're always in there like the get. Oh, my. See, me, I'm, I like to look at myself as a writer, and I look at TV shows from a writer's perspective. And if a story is dope, I think Empire has a dope story. I'm a, right. I'm a sucker for subplots and, and story twists. Yeah, so too. if you can tie that with drama and correct character perception, you got me. And I watch it, and I love Empire, but my point is there's another show going on at the same time that's more for our people and we should be supporting, like Blackish. I've I've seen I seen like two episodes it's of crazy. it, you and I that. wish I could watch. I wish I watched it more because it is because I, I saw the episode where Anthony Anderson wanted to bring a gun into the crib. You see, all of his life, you know what I'm saying, and it was it was relevant. It was it was all relevant, and it was and it was a good episode. But I'm not I'm not the guy to sit down and turn and just flick through TV. Like when I sit down and watch TV, I'm turning to something I specifically want to watch. I don't just flip through channels and black. And A B in certain stations I just never think to watch. A B C W X J, whatever the hell. So it's all about promotion. It's all about promotion. Lack of it's promotion. Not, They're it, not promoting it right. It might be, right. It could be that. It just doesn't get to my ears to the point where I go, damn, let me check this out. I remember before Empire came out when they was promoting it, I would watch the commercials with my girl. I'm like, man, that shit look whack. It looked trash. Empire <laughs> looked it trash. I said, that shit look From whack. The I'm not watching that on everything. And then I and then I end up like episode season one, episode eight. I'm sitting, I'm like, oh shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go watch these previous seven. This shit kinda crazy. But I never got that vibe from I guess I guess drama sells. 
Drama and sex sells. Yeah, drama I, I, sex I, I guess because I could watch Empire and I can relate nothing to it. Like nothing at going all, on in Empire. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it, it's an all black cast, and I'm looking at there is nothing on Empire but, that I can relate. But to. I take from Empire. Empire makes me actually appreciative of the relationship I got with my brothers and the way we grew up because they got all the money in the world, which we want all want, yeah. but they all got so, so many, many more issues. issues that's bigger than money. I can't live like that. So I'm like, like, how the fuck did you come up like that? You got all this money, but the problems that you have that came with the money and how you got it and to maintain it is way too much for me to ever imagine living through. I can't do it. I appreciate all black cast. I appreciate the music of the show. And like you said, you can't just help to get away. The drama, like we love drama. So Right, man. So I can't help it. It's a lot of... What's that new show you're talking about? Atlanta? Oh, Atlanta, yeah. With Childish Gambino? Tell us about Atlanta. Give us the story when it comes out. So, it come out on the 4th, September 4th. That's a Sunday, and it's going to be airing at the same time as Power. So, my thing uh, that makes me s- s- scared about this show not doing well is, you know, they base off the well, nobody first watches of episodes, Power. Nobody watches uh, Power, actually, at 9 o'clock anyway. Facts, it comes so on, they on might demand. Watch it, so yeah. they, well, they, this show going to come on FX, though. And it's um, Childish Bambino. That's his, his rap Gambino. name. Gambino. Gambino. Yeah, yeah. I ain't don't that, know him as a rapper. That's ain't sad. Ain't that uh, Babe Ruth? Bambino? <laughs> Bambino. <laughs> Bambino. The great sorry. Bambino. <laughs> but the only reason why I'm interested in this show, because I read up on it, and um, he has all black writing cast. Okay. Uh-huh. We uh-huh. haven't had that. I had to look that up, Who's too. the director? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I don't know. But he's... The producer Tyler he's, Perry. He's acting. No, it's not a Tyler Perry. He's stupid. <laughs> I damn sure won't watch. It. I don't know, but they're all new. That's why I don't know the guy. But they're all new, even the writers and everything. And when I read up on it, and I'm like, why is it all right? You know, why he made sure he had an all black writing class? And he said, how many times these white writers going to tell our story for us? <laughs> See, that's the thing. Yeah. That's exactly he why we should they be don't supporting really that. Know exactly. He said they don't really know. You know our perspective. They really don't know. What we think in the first thing we do when we wake up. And it's funny because the first, uh, you said you watched the trailer and he was like, your breath smell like curry. Or yeah. Some shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, now you know. At, what, Who the fuck think about every like scene when morning. somebody first, but he's saying it stink though. It's not like shit. Right, 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 right. <laughs> A white writer couldn't have thought of that because they Would've don't know. never said your breath smell uh, like I hot curry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. First thing that's, in the that's morning. That's some shit I would say, definitely. <laughs> See? Yeah, I would definitely say some shit like that. But he said he, said he just tired of our stories being displayed the way they wanted to be. But it's going to be about two brothers trying to break into the uh, music industry coming from the hood in Atlanta. But they're going to touch things that, that nobody ever going bring on up. In Atlanta? Exactly. And not, not not Atlanta, but in black lives. Okay. So. But here's something, here's something that I want to talk about, though, and it's still on the black shows. Right after the underground went off, I enjoyed that. They had a root series come on. They did. I felt that was too much, though. They did. Yeah, I don't want to watch one slavery show and watch another. And this was a new How many version. do you need? Right. Yeah. That's yeah. why. I, that's why I went like slave movies. I still haven't seen Twelve Years a Slave. I feel like I've seen enough slave movies. Like, that was I deep. get it. I I, I heard, it might be a good movie, but I can't constantly watch I those agree. movies. I need to see more movies like Marcus Garvey. What's I need that? to see more movies like but Nat that's, Turner. That's What's what that Jamie Foxx movie? Though. What's that Jamie Foxx movie? The Django. Oh my God. Did you see it? I saw Django. But you, I, that was Quentin. You didn't like it. Quentin. That was. I only. I, I only liked it because it was gory. And I liked it because he fought back because he was fighting the. Oh, they made, like they made fun of us. They said, really? "Yeah, man." They it said wasn't nigger really... over three hundred times. It was Quentin Tarantino. The only thing I hair, liked, and he's a racist asshole. The biggest thing I liked about <laughs> the biggest thing I liked about Django was Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> he was the worst thing about he was, he was the man. funniest thing in the he movie. He was the worst thing. But, but the thing is, that's a direct. Fox, but the thing yeah. is, I'm yeah. pretty sure he was a direct correlation of what an Uncle Tom ass nigga <laughs> was right. back in slavery. He did it uh, Master, who, who this nigga you got in here? <laughs> who, who that nigga up on that horse? Dang. Like, yo. All right, yo. And he was an ass. He was an asshole, but Django, yeah, I can't. I give it the pass and bar because I enjoyed the movie because it was a lot of blood and gore. Like, but pay attention to the upcoming slave flicks, though. Like the one I, I'm going to talk about them in a positive way. What's his name? Nat. Um, Nat, uh, Nat Parker. Nat Parker. Yeah. yeah, he just did the whole movie on the rebellion of um, slave. But they trying to they trying to block his movie based uh, on the, the rape well, accusations. He did, yeah, that I know that's got. what I said. Yeah, I'm trying to, up. but and he he made a public um, statement recently saying he disappointed in black people for not you know defending him in a sense. And he's right. We automatically jumped into what the media was saying. It was all, you know, it was all speculations and aggregations. They were just saying stuff. Like, when the movie comes out, I'm going to go see it. I am too, because I'm going to go see it because name a Nat Turner movie you've seen that wasn't good. 
Well, Period. No. I think what we need to do is like we got a Facebook, we got Twitter. I think there's a such thing as a black Twitter. I think it is. I think but so, we too. need to get off the main line of Twitter and Facebook. We need to create like a African American page where we can go because guess what? Stuff like a lot of us right? don't know oh, no, he's know. having a hard time putting oh, up Oh shit, yo, Jarrell yeah. Flaw just came up with a he just did it right here on the podcast, brothers. Jarrell's gonna start an African American page to promote all things African American so people who may not get it <laughs> is going to get it. Uh, he just did it. That's a good idea. He just though. did it. Podcast Brothers, idea. he stamped it right here. Woo! We need it. We, <laughs> we need it. We're, We're going to work, work on, on it. it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to work on it, but that's what we need because with so much and media, because right. let me tell you something, the second something happens, something else happens and it takes our attention away from what was originally going on. Right. right. We know that, right. but if we stuck to our own and just our news, well, what's going on with us, we would understand. You know what would be dope? I think it would be, because like you said, after one thing happens, another thing happens. I think that would be dope if there was a court, if there was an organization in place to assign people's, to assign a certain amount of people to each tragedy. So it wouldn't be lose, it wouldn't lose uh, uh, its attention in the wake of another tragedy. So let's say, let's say Flaw starts an organization, then he, and then uh, the gentleman who was gunned down in Minnesota gets killed. He sends Keisha out to Minnesota to make sure things go a certain way uh, for this situation so it doesn't get overlooked. And then the situation in Baton Rouge happens. Then he sends me out to Baton Rouge to ensure that this situation doesn't get overlooked and that things and proper steps are taken to ensure that this this man's murder isn't just another hashtag on Twitter. I think that would be Here's dope. my question for you. Together. Would you do that for free? Yep. You would. If you, you had the time, right? If I had the time. If you but had the time. If you had the time. Because here's the thing. Not time. other people will answer that like that, and we don't have the money. Nope. We're or just, we're like Black Lives Matter and everything like that. We're well, that needs to group. be, but yep. it could be a representative in each state for who lives there already. So if something happens in New Jersey, damn it, Keisha, you in charge of it. <laughs> if something happens in Virginia... <laughs> Damn it, whoever lives I ain't gonna lie, I'm bad. I'm bad with um, this whole your phone? News, social. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm bad with technology. There we go. We're just raw on that right there. So this is different from me being on this, but I, Listen, if I wish I was years old, more in touch. If you're 25 and up in 2016 and you suck at technology, you need to reevaluate your whole existence because <laughs> this or, is the way the or, world works now. Or you can be grateful that I still read books. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just you saying. You can read a book I on your phone, I still go too. to the library. I read my books on my tablet. You can read a book See, on your phone. See, look, all that. And now I actually open mean? it up cover to cover. What, what, still what, what does it matter where you get the knowledge from as long as you're getting the knowledge? All right, then, so why do I need to be into technology Ooh. as much? Because you just said, I didn't, what do you mean? Wait, <laughs> wait, what? Everything, why do you what I'm to... saying is everything you telling me I need to be hip on, I could do through a book. Not everything. Tell me something. A phone's faster. All right, I never said speed. I'm just saying I get the same I said, information. Te- I still I read said, magazines, hit- damn it. I don't hate I hate Keisha, they about to blogs. stop printing magazines. Sorry. I know, and it pisses me off. I you still can get a magazine on your phone. Magazine. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying I prefer the old-fashioned. I dig right her, though, because ain't nothing like a magazine. Like, I stopped what? reading the magazines because they... I my legs and I get into nah. it. Listen, all I need is an article. I don't need a full magazine. I still buy a because newspaper. Because you can buy a magazine and you want to read one article out of the whole fucking magazine. The rest of the shit is irrelevant to me. Not, not true. For me, I read it front the cover. I still buy a newspaper and I read the newspaper every. You gonna read about you gonna read about twelve advertising advertising pages on Adidas and Cologne mm-hmm. and all this shit before I you even, even get the to the first bubble, page. I even before read you even get to the page. table of contents to let you know what's on what page, you're gonna read eight nine pages about advertisements: Adidas, Cologne, Lacrosse. Fucking, uh, and why shoelaces. wouldn't you want to know in detail about the things you about to put on your body in X Y Z? It's not in. It's, it's not in detail. It's just it a is. page. It's kidding? just a page with a soccer player kicking a ball. No, it's and advertising. It's, fucking cologne. it's promotion. It's he's, telling he's, you everything. He's advertising about cologne. It. No, he, what the fuck? You're playing soccer. You got to do a cologne. Pay, he stinks that, when he no, plays soccer. You're trying to say that <laughs> magazines only got pictures. That's well, what you painting for me right listen, now. Listen, but if I pull up, if I pull up an article, if I pull up an article on my phone, I know exactly what I'm reading. I don't need an entire magazine to read what I want. That's how it all started. You guys forget where you came from. That's your. Problem. I never read magazines. I ain't forget shit. <laughs> Are you skipped over the that only part? magazines I probably ever read in detail was the but source. But we're not just talking about magazines. We talking about overall information. If you talk about books, I'm reading a book because the book is geared. Oh shit! I hit my fucking filter on the mic. If I'm reading a book, I'm reading a specific book because it's of interest and it might actually give me knowledge on a specific topic. A magazine is full of different things. 
I don't need to know all of that shit. A magazine is full of your everything. phone oh, and okay. your computer and your tablet is full of different things. But I get I the what cl- you just said. But I get the click on specifically. That. If I go out and buy a magazine, I have a whole bunch of shit I really don't want to read because I saw a headline that seemed but interesting to me. Power, but if I have a phone, a if I have my stuff. phone and I come across an article, uh, Trenton House is being knocked down. And it's costing taxpayers five hundred thousand dollars. Oh shit! Click. I want to read that. This goes back to us with the TV shows and you guys not knowing what's coming out and things like that because you go to your phone and you click on what jumps out at you, what gets your attention, versus reading a whole magazine that fills your mind with everything that's going on for the next year to come. Just saying, like those little. What magazines do you read that tell you all of that shit? People. That's one. People Magazine told me about these upcoming shows. People Magazine have a Twitter account. You have not seen that, but I'm saying, but they only piece in, they only piece in what they want you to see. But to be though. honest, I used to read the source a lot, and you'll buy, for who's, on the, you'll buy for who's on the cover, right. but if you flick the pages, it'll tell you whose album's it. coming out. And you're like, yo, I didn't know this exactly, album's coming out. Exactly, But you bought it because of who's on the cover, and their story's like three pages, but you know it's like 50 and, in there. And the reason why you don't know about this show versus this show, because again, and all of that sucks. Because you you're up. going exactly yeah. straight, to now, straight to it. Straight to it. Power. Oh, and, that looks good. Click. And power doesn't have commercials, so you don't know what's coming on. Nope. Next week. Set up. On far as show, Set ups. Is, what I'm saying. No, people, that's network. People, that has nothing to do with that's network. It's on a cable network. It's, of course, this is not going to not gonna be commercials. But people, what I'm saying is, don't lose sight of books, reading things like that. That's it's just so much gone. more. But it's more information in them. Though. I'm not saying lose Versus sight of books. I'm just, but I'm saying you just don't go around. You don't go to the bookstore and pick up every book. You only pick up the book that's interesting to you. No, I'll go to the bookstore and ask what's come out. I do the. I do. I and you do the New York bestseller. <laughs> and you <laughs> pick what's. And you pick what you want to read according what's interesting to you. All right. You don't get books, every single. But what about book? a newspaper and a magazine is full of information? But I'm saying you don't have to actually have that so old form of media to get that Jared. information. Mine's is just as valid no, as No, the fuck it's not. That's why you're you on my show. That That's shit ain't as valid as mine. <laughs> no, I'm sweating because it's hot down here and I'm drinking all this Corona. <laughs> Shout out to Corona, man. Y'all owe me some appetizer on everything. <laughs> so what we saying is we're going to watch Power Early and then we're going to watch Atlanta. What time does Atlanta come on? It comes on at night. But listen, <laughs> also, but also, like, Atlanta can have all the right messages, but... If not it's not good, good oh, yeah, it, it's, it's not going to get picked up regardless of, of what the message is. If it's not a good show, like, because people, when you sit down and watch TV, you don't want, just want to get hit with facts and knowledge. It has to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. TV is first entertainment and then it's knowledge. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So if but I just want y'all to check it out on the strength that the first couple of episodes usually being based off of ratings, you know, right? Right, right. Yeah. It's being based is, off of ra- and they'll ratings. say whether they want to bring them back exactly. or continue the series. And I'm afraid for this show in particular because, like I said, this is it's been over, I don't, I don't know, I didn't do the research, but I know they said in over 10 years since it's been an all-writing black cast, the, the, the writers, the cast, everything's black. And we don't know what show that was? Atlanta, no, right? You said it was Atlanta, Atlanta, but I'm saying before that, when before the last time oh, it was okay. done, I don't even know. I didn't look. But you, I just read this, and it was attached to the article. I heard Atlanta. Tyler Perry was getting heat because he oh, yeah. had an all white all white cast. cast. That show his... juicy though. It, it, what's the name of the show again? I don't know. I don't know nothing about it, honestly. I really don't watch TV. But like Oprah that. coming up too. She got a, a show called Greenleaf, and it's about the the big churches in the South collecting money and I doing see all that all the time. But I just didn't check it out. Man, it's, it's good. That sounds. You're the second person that told me it, it was is. Good. It, re- it really is. The acting's good. The storyline, everything. She's not bashing that, black man. people, but she's pointing some things out that I never knew took place, but I heard about. You know, about in the church. In the church. Let's see. I'm also, I heard about them big Memphis churches and stuff like that. They yeah. got like, the Calvary. They got like you know a whole building outside of the church where all this money come from and, and that's and that's why technology interests me more so because like i said i probably would watch that on the go on my phone more so <laughs> than i would actually sit down and watch it on tv because if i'm sitting down and actually watching tv i'm turning to something i really hey, I want to watch too. I'm watching, like, you know what i'm saying i'm like oh shit and then if i come across oh the fuck oprah oh shit calvary churches they stealing money click let me what? see this stealing money rape incest you gotta watch this show it's crazy like, incest what Ew. channel yeah. that comes on own oh yeah she got her own network yeah, y'all need to network. support that network a little more what's too. on it um where got, are they now that's the only thing i know no, uh yeah well, that's she, what she, i she, like she, it's like this uh celebrity stories right i don't know if y'all support as a tyler perry but she supports him full on he they has like a, best friends he, has he bought her bentley one time yeah he has a few he, shows oh, on her site he bought her a bentley yeah yeah, yeah he bought fucking he oprah like a that. bentley he should have bought me one oprah right. don't need him to buy no fucking oprah bentley. don't need him to buy her no exactly. oprah could have bought that nigga 15 how does statman feel about that is she still with statman she's finally getting married to statman 
Wow. She just announced that. She How cried. does Stedman just feel about it. another man buying her a Bentley? Listen, he Oprah can't buy. Has Stedman ever bought <laughs> Oprah a Bentley? No, but this is why that she didn't marry this man all these years because she had the dough. She didn't want him to get in on it. I that. love the dough. Yeah, so it's like, what is, what is, like, how do you feel about, like, uh, I, I guess, man. He's now, been a silent partner for decades. He's guess, been, man. he's been a man. I like his, man. I like his stance. You want to know why? Because a lot of men can't handle their woman making more money and especially, especially it being publicly. I didn't say I that. I feel like he's, but I'm just saying, I'm overall, saying he got Some it. man bought her a Bentley and he can't buy his wife. So listen, I think, do? listen, listen, I think <laughs> if, if Oprah wasn't rich as fuck and another man bought her a Bentley, then it's like, whoa, bro. But it's, it's Oprah, bro. Like. Whatever. And she's finally getting married, Look, so that I, means. So, so yeah. somebody buy y'all girls a Bentley. Yeah, it's a pro- what? I, if I can't, <laughs> I, it confuses me. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna to tell you. her to give it back? Um, that's uh, mine. <laughs> that Bentley's mine. <laughs> you gonna tell her to give it back? Is give the me question. the keys. Are you gonna tell that her? That shit to give is it mine. Back? Yeah, I have no idea, man. That's crazy. Tyler Perry brought her the Bentley. Look, but yeah, y'all should support her her station too. I don't know. I'm not always an Oprah supporter, but I try to be a black supporter for things. I just don't like, know what's on it. Like, put some shows on there. Yeah, it I, is. I'm telling you, Ty- all right, let me finish. And that's you. another thing. So it's Tyler like, Perry got a couple of shows on there. We're tired of Tyler Perry shows. <laughs> black soap operas, to be honest. We're tired of Tyler Perry shows. Um, The Have and Have Nots, If Loving You Is Wrong. Um. Um, what's the funny one? She, he, he got a funny one too. You might like that one. It's funny. What's the loud chick that he be having in her movies? The tall one. She got like a twin. Tasha Smith. Tasha Smith. She got yeah. her she own has show a twin? on there. Yeah, she yeah, does have the same. She's from Camden too, by the way. Yeah, right. Jersey. She has a twin. Yeah, yeah she has a twin. identical. Um, she can't act. No, she's not into it. She's actually bald too, but they got the they are identical. Okay. She's bald. Yeah, she got a twin that's shy, basically total opposite of her. Okay. <laughs> But um, yeah, she has a show on there. What is her show coming? Come on, Fridays. But they got a lot of black sitcoms on is there. Is that show with Michael Jai White? Yes. I yes. think I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, there you go. Uh, for better or worse. For better or worse. I did see so that. So they got a spinoff. I did see that. Or Why Did I Get Married? Yes. Basically, and yeah. And it's um, a comedy and it's, it's a half. It's funny. I did not know this. See? Why don't I know that? And then on top of that, read? she also plays a crackhead on Empire. Facts. <laughs> to, to spin it around on you. She plays a crackhead. On, she's uh, she's Cookie's sister. She is. So why do I know what's going on on Oprah's stick? Because you... Uh, that just made me mad. But then, and that's another thing. Like, I didn't know about the Underground show. You don't know about this show. But these two... Whose fault is that? But you know... Um, but you the see, internet. But you see what BET's promoting, right? that's why right? I be... Oh, see, you know, my problem with BET. But that's my thing. We <laughs> Black-owned, black entertainment television who's owned by a white man. But do you see what they're putting out? This fabulous show? Um, something. See what BET they made BET break theirs up. Do you know that BET has a, a network for just women? TV one. That's BET. Yes, that's okay. with BET. It's all for women, black women. That's positive. And then they also got what's the other one called? Um, they showed a um, unsung. You know, I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I know that, that station. I watched the unsung. BET. So that's where that's where they messed up. That's where they try to confuse black people with BET, make it seem like we're not getting the same thing that we should be getting. We are. They just put them on different stations and all at the same time. It's all about putting us against uh, each other. Yes, we competing. Do you Keisha know? I gotta just uncrack the overall no, I gotta, agenda. I got to record. Brothers, high five for sister. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Kishi cracked the agenda. No, she cracked the Da Vinci I, Code. I got to record like three different shows at the same time because they putting them on. You get what I'm saying? At right. the same time against each other. That should be pissing me off. But that's so we can't record about. three shows at the same time when Black Ish and Power come on in yeah. Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Yeah. that's. I'm, I'm just pointing out there that they on. All right. Pay attention to them. You feel so me? y'all need to catch up on your Black Ish. Is, is there another TV show that we should be checking the for? The Carmichael's. The car, that that's that. what it was. The Carmichael's. What, what the hell is I that? I know it was a new David show. David Allen Greer. You remember oh, him, that's right? my boy. What? He's the dad on the Carmichael's. Okay. The rest of the um, actors are new. I have no idea who they are, but they funny as hell. And uh, again, What station a, is this? What network, I mean? ABC? Mm-hmm. It ain't Fox. It ain't Fox. <laughs> y'all really don't like Fox. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear the commentators or anything? They all racist. Yo, listen. D.L. Hughley go on them shows. Why he cursed them out? Yeah, yeah. I seen D.L. Hughley doing that to that reporter. He had go to stand Google off the Fox reporter. and black people and you're going to be like, what you mean he did or she did? Like she, she was, she was a beast on no, that. But she, it was another, it was, a, um, it was another interview that Charlemagne from uh, Breakfast Club did with a white reporter based yeah. off oh, something yeah, that she reported and yeah, it was getting yeah, at each other. She said, I've but, been, I've been a few things in my life her. but don't the other day. <laughs> right, like, come on, man. I don't know like, her name but I know who you're talking about. She's like 22 and irrelevant. But they get on, they, they get these platforms to where they mm-hmm. have their audiences but right the so now 22. right 
And they have these audiences that are automatically geared to their show. So when somebody says something opposite of what they're saying, they don't actually listen to what the argument is. They just try to over-talk them and try to get the applause. And I really think, like, the old rallies in them, like, they, they, they just use them people. They do. They, yeah. they use, like, like you said, their fans are already set. They're in motion. Set, like, their minds are made up that this is the, what America should look like. And they just feed them because it pays them. Yep. Basically. <laughs> they pay, pay So them. basically their audiences are stupid. Yeah, yeah, I'll say yeah. that. Basically, I'll the audiences are stupid. Yeah. yeah, I'll say that. The audience is dumb. And like I said, when, when Trump stands in front of the Ohioans and talks about African Americans. Are you saying that I'm right? I'm sure. Are you saying no, that right? I'm not. I just no, made yeah. it up. Yeah, but they're I mean, from Ohio, <laughs> so I call them Ohioans. Was, what no, is that you Iowa or Ohio? <laughs> no, Iowa. You it said was, Ohioans. Listen, it's all white people there. So I thought you was personally being sarcastic, calling them just separate. I thought that Jersey. was a real term because we're technically New Jersey. Iowans. Oh, okay. <laughs> Say it again. Gotcha. Iowans. <laughs> Iowa. So the people in Iowa are looking at him like, you know, you're talking about African Americans. We'll turn on you real quick. This is what Donald Trump don't know. You got to talk their language or they will leave you. They will. They will abandon so you. So I'm saying our generation got this, yo. Trump's not winning. Uh, we no, good. he's losing bad. He's losing. He's bad. losing pretty bad. But they'll tell when you when the campaign even close. started, he yeah. didn't even have as much uh, campaign money as Hillary did. Hillary had like forty four million dollars of campaign bread. But you know, she been running. She had like two. He had like two she million been running for over ten years now. So yeah, Just that mean that's a well oiled machine. I agree. I guess, but but back to these shows. Don't forget, guys, to check out. But yeah, the Carmichael's too. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I've seen that. I've heard of them. I just haven't checked them out. I just don't know why my brain is stuck on Empire and Power. I forgot that fast. Really what's like that's, what's, that's what's being promoted. Again, not to you know get back into it with Jared about technology. We have to but fight. again, uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, But Instagram. this is the information highway of the future. This is the current information highway now. If, but if you call it, on it the current internet, information, but I call it quick information. You're missing all the well, in between. what she's saying is they're cutting out yep, the whole vegetables bunch of that you need. Exactly. But, but they're on a, giving you your steak. They're not giving you your vegetables. But who's giving yeah. it? Because, because well, who's, who's, it, it starts with the head person who's ever pushing this new project. Because when I look on the internet, I see a whole bunch of different shit. I no, see, it's, it's, I see shit I don't even want to see. It's like, what the fuck is this? I don't give a fuck about that. But at the same time, for certain stuff, not even to touch your ears on the internet, it's like, what are you doing? It's not my fault I didn't come across it. Yeah, they're keeping it. You know, it's not our fault, but they're keeping no. it away from us. That's yeah. what we're saying. And I'm telling you how I came across it, though. How? I told you. You read a book and said, watch this TV show? I actually read a magazine, and they be having a list of upcoming shows. All right, well, look. Damn it! Just I want you, I want you. But what I'm saying is, this is little information and a lot of information. Y'all are looking at the internet and it's a big world, and you got to click for so many things. How about you actually think about things like, okay, it's a new year. Let's see what's going on, and you actually type in things that matter to you rather than just looking what people put okay. in front of you. Okay, you okay, or, I can I can roll with that. Yeah. Or 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 that. dumb it down. Go to a news um stand and pick up a magazine that definitely has topics that you are interested exactly. in and those topics and like I said you'll have the upcoming TV shows how many people go to the grocery store and you stand in line and you don't be seeing magazines all those magazines right I read but them you know, these two listen dog you know what they put in front though <laughs> Kanye West is dying like the fake magazines uh, yeah, dog true. first of all <laughs> Kim Kardashian and Kanye Wake divorced I when like, I walk right. out when I'm in the checkout line for the grocery store I already hit my budget so I'm not buying a fucking Ebony, magazine no Ebony still has a magazine and it's still running where's who Ebony Black Black Ebony magazine? Oh, 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 oh. oh. I yeah. thought she was talking about somebody from the hood, Ebony Black. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is Ebony and, Black? And that one, and, and I actually got, I, I'm using a new, well, don't look at my hair now, but a you, new shampoo. I've been looking at that shit since she got in here. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> it's coming out today. It's cool. But I, I, I just I just started using a new product or whatever. from I got it from Ebony magazine and stuff. like, And they started to just, you know, convince black girls, black women that, putting stuff like caramel and vanilla and mayonnaise and stuff in our hair is good for it. Did See? you do that yet? Yeah, I'm, I've been, you, listen, if I Keisha, show you used to always picture, have long hair in high school. I, I know, remember. and I lost my hair during college and stress and all that. My edges, man, my chunk's getting thick again, I swear. Uh-huh. It ain't just me. You got oh, me ready, shit. You got me ready to pl- pick up a magazine. You about to put mayonnaise on your dome? <laughs> no, I said a magazine, man. <laughs> <laughs> put, put an extra girl about mayonnaise and stuff right here. Why is she going to tell you? My hair micro, my hair, hey, It's oh, going to be man. smooth and I'm not putting no mayo on my head, man. It's conditioner. Go read what's in the stuff anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody around the world is laughing Ooh. at that. 
Hey, yo, put mayonnaise on your body, bro. I'm, I swear, dog. You come out with the 70s Sugar Ray Linen Afro, man. My hair might actually go. grow back, huh? Yeah, I say you do it's it. It's a possibility. It might. It let might. me let me My put the let me put the mayonnaise on there. No, pause. No. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no. Pause. Let no. me let me let me spread the mayonnaise on your body. No. Hey, All right, whatever. I wanted to um touch on something that I kind of almost forgot, but I definitely wanted to. Y'all seen Callan Kaepernick? Yep. Oh yeah. Shout out to Callan Kaepernick, it's man. It's Kaepernick, by the way. What I say? Kaepernick. What is his nationality? He's he's black and white. He's black oh, and white. Okay. I he's didn't a white, know. White mom, black dad. He's oh, okay. black and white. Cool. I didn't know. I, I thought he was Hispanic. Or something. Well, why are the black and white men and the black women are the ones standing up for it? And ourselves? not the black men. Look, at, look right? at Jesse Williams. Like, why are these? Look at Barack Obama. Like, like these mixed men are out here doing wonderful things, but you can't get a hundred percent black. Well, then again, maybe it's because. We're not paying attention to them that they are. Maybe uh, they are. Another, maybe we should pick up a magazine and read about all the great things that 100 percent African American men are doing. Uh, I don't think they got a magazine Probably, for that. I bet you they do. They I'll find one for, for you. I'll present it to you guys. Give me some time. <laughs> David Banner does a lot. David Banner does but a right, lot, but, but he's see, pretty biased though. He's stuck on the way he thinks and solely on his thing. I, I'm in need for our black men to not only speak up but also be open to other things too you know wasn't him I mean? and life jennings about to get into a fight yeah, over that shit and tyrese was. had to break it up <laughs> yeah <laughs> they was about to get into a fight I over either that. over both of their views but, their but views, look right exactly. muhammad ali passed a few years a few uh months ago right two months ago yeah a few months ago and america held hands and remembered the greatest but if you have a problem with What's his name? Kaepernick? Kaepernick? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? How do you have a problem with what Kaepernick is doing? What, isn't that what Muhammad Ali would do? But that's what If he was in his that, prime? That, that that's wasn't exactly why everybody, but that wasn't why everybody was holding their hands for Muhammad Ali, though. We we know that. We was. Right. Yeah. We know so. that. We know that it was fake when yeah, they, they showed well, the they love. Was, I thought they was only honoring him as a, a boxer. Uh, the other people showing him love. Yeah. Like, they never... No, they she never, said the other people. They never applaud him for being a Muslim. Who he was. Man. Exactly. So. No, no. They they did at the... They said it at the end. They, yeah. they they applauded him for everything he did. Muhammad Ali was much more than a great boxer. Muhammad Ali was a great humanitarian. And this is coming from a girl who never seen him box. Right. Never seen him box. Ever. ever. We In talked about that. It's like all our greats were um, silenced. Silenced before we got the chance to yeah. hear him speak. <laughs> yeah. So now we got um, Kaepernick, he gets a high five, and um, the social media is killing him. But he stood up for himself. Now he's going white to get in, social media is killing. Yeah, him. he's going to get in trouble for this. Yeah. He's already not the starting quarterback as of now. Injuries. I just hope this doesn't have him. You know, just blackball from the NFL. That would be weak. You if can't we did. get a job. You can't. You can't. That's actually discrimination, man. Yeah, they, you can't, they can't go that far. You know what I'm saying? But they can say he's not good of a player. You cannot, you can cannot diminish that. a person because their beliefs are different than yours. That's like First Amendment type shit. You can't diminish people. Yo, he didn't want to stand for the national anthem. So what? Would you, if people, if your people or your race, wherever you're from, or wherever you hail from originally, if your people were being treated a certain way in a specific place, why would you honor that country by standing up for the national anthem theme song? Doesn't make sense, man. That man felt a certain way about the treatment of black African American, young black African Americans in this country. He didn't want to stand for a song. He didn't go out and like piss on the American flag and no outrageous shit in the middle of the field. He simply didn't stand for a song, a silent protest within himself. He has every right to do so. Do you know they just got on Gabri Gabri the Douglas for the same thing in Rio, two thousand sixteen. She didn't put her hand over her heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. Tore her up. Yeah. It tore her up. But then my beautiful black people on Black Twitter found a picture of Donald Trump doing absolutely the same thing. Right. <laughs> you but, know, but, so. but nothing oh, happened. But nothing. But nothing. But this man gets to be the Republican. But he's Republican lose leading nominee for. Did he have Kenny. endorsements or anything? Of course. I'm pretty he's sure he lose does. Some. Of sad behind it. I, I, we 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 respect the fact that he stood up and he spoke up and he's standing for some, but he's going to be penalized for this. He has to play good. He has. That's the thing. Muhammad Ali was a great boxer. Ka- uh, Kaepernick has to play good when he gets on the field. He has to be. I don't great. think he does. I don't think. I don't he think he does either. I think. I think. Even if he was a bench player, if a bench player who don't get no burn decided, yo, this is fucked up. I don't have to do this. And regardless of your performance, you still can stand for whatever you believe in. Do you know why Muhammad Ali was allowed to box? Because he made them money. Right, but that's, that's it. But that's a different, that's a different set of circumstances. Muhammad Ali would not have had a voice to stand on if he I'm was not, a trash boxer. I'm not comparing it to Muhammad Ali, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, just you being a person. You could be trash. You could be the water boy on a, uh, on a JV team in high school. If you don't want to, 
if you believe, if you feel differently from what's being portrayed in the media or in the world in general, I don't have to stand up and honor this country with this song. I'm not saying that. You do. That's, 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 are you not going to get paid? That's not what I'm saying. It, but if you're good, you're going to continue to get play, paid. Oh, so, so, what do you I'm think would have happened? What do you think would have happened if Peyton Manning didn't do it? What do you think would have happened if Peyton Manning use, wouldn't stand? I was for about that? to use. It's a different situation because it was rape, but I was about to use Kobe and Ben Rosenberg. Right. Right. Yeah. Both accused throughout their career of but rape. Roethlisberger got accused for rape like twice. Uh, I thought it was more than that. Yeah, but the I, point being is he didn't lose endorsements. He didn't lose what Kobe lost. And Kobe's a great player. He was, you know, top. The greatest. The greatest. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't think, that's why I said I don't think he's going to. Yeah, white white and black plays a part. But the thing is, if you're black, you need to be great at what you do or you will be gone. I see what you're saying. That's, okay. that's, 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 I see that's what you're saying. Ray but... Rice, because he was trash his last year. They are making an example. They're not really making an example out of uh, out of domestic violence. They're not. They're telling him, you're trash. You got too much heat. We don't want you back. Adrian Peterson be his child. Now, to us, it's normal, but they made a big deal about it. But because he's AP, he they still say, get the play. come back, and we're going to pay you more. That's what I'm saying. If you're good, you can do what you want. I'm just saying, from a man's standpoint. Nah, because Kobe didn't get to do what he want. That's why Kobe I was saying. Kobe came back. He paid he them all. Kobe did get to do what he wanted. Kobe, he lost Kobe, MVP no, that Kobe, year. He lost endorsements. He had Kobe to change his number. Kobe went to court. All <laughs> the games. Nike. All the games, court, season, all the games that Kobe went to court that season. All the games that Kobe went to court that year. He came <laughs> and dropped at least forty each game. Eighty-one. Once, remember? I think that was around. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was two thousand. That was two thousand six. Kobe dropped eighty-one. Yeah, Kobe got dropped by Adidas. Kobe facts. I got him. Kobe got dropped by Adidas. Got picked up by Nike. He didn't lose nothing. All right. Well, maybe that was I actually just, a maybe win. I, I, yeah. Maybe I thought he lost a little bit. I just didn't uh, like the way it was portrayed. You're right. Though. He didn't yeah, lose, but Tiger right. Woods lost during that whole the shit scandal. Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods Tiger Woods ain't been the same since. He's done. Right. Yeah, if he's Tiger done. Woods like stayed said, dope, if he stayed, if he stayed good, good this would have went away. But he became trash as soon as those allegations. Well, not allegations because they were real. <laughs> but as soon as his 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 mistresses, as soon as it came out, he just started sucking at golf. And it, and it just all went hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's, like you said. Shout out to just, Tiger Woods, man. Yeah, right. Let's hope. Man, uh, and I say that Woods. even though he's a womanizer. But shout out to him. We, hey, he, but we asked if he was the new away. normal last week, man. Tiger Woods is living proof. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> we asked last week. We had a show called Three to New Normal, Wondering if Poly Relationships Work. Well, Tiger Woods is fucking walking proof of that, boy. <laughs> I tell you. Shout out to Tiger Woods. It's fucked up. This shit got blown up in your face like that. But I mean, Shout out hey to man, his golf career. You know, as a black it's man. over. <laughs> I, no, it's over. <laughs> you don't have a golf, golf career no more. I think his back is like. But they can't knock what he had. He broke records. He said stuff like he he got he holds a title they in the got golf him, world. They got him before the record was actually broke. They didn't want him to break though. Was I, I don't know his name. Did you think that his wife could have been in cahoots with the PGA tour? No, not his wife, <laughs> but the people. I'm, like I'm telling oh, you, man. They, they all nobody behind him conspiracy no theory yeah, right here. Conspiracy. Man, yeah, yeah, listen, they didn't want Tiger Woods to break the to have the actual golf record as greatest ever. They didn't want that. Yeah, well, it's fucked up, Tiger Man. Hey, I know. man, you had a good. Hey, well, it was good while it lasted, right? What you get for being a man with all your man parts. That's what you get for being Mr. a man. I ain't black. What do you say? I ain't black. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Blasian. He said that, right? Yeah. Forget Some Tiger. He never claimed like us anyway. He never claimed us anyway. Hey, man, man. well, I don't think Dave Chappelle yeah. drafted him during a racial draft anyway. So he really, he's really not black, according to Dave Chappelle. And I follow I Dave, love Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. Shout out man. Dave Chappelle, man. Dave Chappelle, for real. Walked away from how much was that? 50 million. At that time, that was a lot. That was a lot of money. That 50 was a lot million. Of money. And then they say shit. At this time, it's fifty million. I take fifty million in a heartbeat. I leave all you busters alone for fifty million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out this bitch. I wish he would. Hey. I wish he would have spoke on it though, because it would have been funny. I was just thinking about that because what this goes into what we was talking about. Without the information, the media told us he became a crackhead. When in reality, he went to Africa. I think we touched on this. Yeah, we did talk about podcast. that a little bit. But yeah, but, but, but that just goes to show you about we just jump on the first thing somebody tells us. We're like, oh mm-hmm. man. And that's why you need to go listen to the album Jeffrey. No, we don't. Actually, I'm not. I'm not taking <laughs> Jeffrey out, man. Listen to Jeffrey. I'm. I'm good. Yeah, I'm not listening. to Hey, Jeffrey. man, did you guys get everything I wanted to get off your chest today, man? Or you still got more? No, I'm good. I got my. I got my notes. It's out. one thing y'all said y'all was going to talk about, and we didn't though. Talk to me. Y'all and y'all relationships. <laughs> oh, relationship tips oh, for men too. Yeah, we took a little bit. Yeah, we're that. not going to do that. We're I don't not think that's do a that. whole another. Oh, okay. That's a whole another four hours right there. Then, yeah, we got to get into that another time. So just know that you know they men, ladies. So what? what I'm gonna say. 
<laughs> I mean, Amen. that's that's actually like playing into our favor. So thank you because we meaning, are men. meaning they think one sided. I think we see. I, I don't. Very, I think, uh, I think women think more one sided than men. I, oh, I, no. I do. Our, I we, think we women have th- to think other ways. That's why we're so emotional. I think women, you guys are so no because rude. the emotion ties you down to think to see things one way. No, the emotion. Listen, I ain't about up. to get into it with you right now, Keisha. Yeah, God yeah. damn it. Listen, what I think I seen some on Facebook and it had a list of what women need and what men it had like yeah. four things. Yeah, it was what, a short list for men, right? Yep, it was like four things. That's true. So why is our long we're more open? Just saying. Four things. You only need food, sex, and something else, money or something like that, or or a bed or some shit like that. I mean, well shit. See? Right. Exactly. So <laughs> well, you're, hey, you're who's tunnel, arguing with any of those things? Men are tunnel vision thinkers, like they're one sided, one track. And if you agree to another side versus your side, it's because you love that person. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's anybody, though. Who who really gives a fuck about somebody else's opinion if we don't have any kind of emotional ties? But this week's, it's time for this week's Dig a Hole and Bury Yourself. I don't know if a lot of y'all heard this story, and that caught me by surprise, but there was a young man, a young Pittsburgh University student, who decided to take his girl on a date? What's the what's the, what's? Let me ask you a question first. What's what's your idea of impressing a woman on a date? So, uh, open the door for, tell her she looks nice. Pulling a chair Pulling out. Pulling the chair out. The simplest, stupidest, the simplest things. Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't do that. stupid, he said, though. You heard it. <laughs> the simplest things. Simple things, right? Well, it, I said stupid because how simple they are. Like, you know, but we forget. And they make a big impact. But it makes a big impact, but it's simple. All right, well. I forgot the gentleman's name, but a young Pittsburgh University student, he was going out with a date with a young lady, and he wanted to impress her. You know what this young man did to impress his girl? He climbs up on, he climbs up on, the, um, on the fire escape. He goes upstairs on the building, and he attempts to jump from a taller building, from a smaller building to a taller building. And his ass fell and got stuck in between the two buildings. About this. What? <sighs> I gotta go look that up. This young man, 22 year old kid, of Pittsburgh University, wanted to impress the girl he went on a date with to be his girlfriend. So they climbed the fire escape on to the. Sh- it was two buildings next to each other, one shorter, one taller. Instead of jumping from the taller building to the shorter building, this asshole tries to jump from the shorter building to the taller building. Now, to you, sir, I don't know who the fuck you think you are. If you got a cape. You got the green lantern ring or whatever you think you are. <laughs> but he fell and got stuck hovering five feet, six, five to six feet in the air between the two buildings and broke his ankle. Oh, well, he was in that. He was in between those buildings for at least two and a half hours before paramedics and ambulances were able to get him out. <laughs> he is white. He was white. <laughs> he was white. <laughs> he was white. <laughs> he was white. Um, that. sir, that pussy's not that good. It's not. Is no, is no vagina. Love. No, he was stupid. Is no vagina in the, Keisha, don't try to make excuses okay, for this. It was the first date, really? wasn't it? I don't give a damn if it was the first, the tenth, <laughs> the eleventh, the one hundredth. There's no way. Listen, and she actually stayed lucky for him because if I'm her and I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, why are you? I'm not fucking with you no more. That means you have ID channel potentials of putting me on this show. She stayed the whole two hours? She stayed the whole two hours with him. So he actually won in the end, but the the sacrifice you made was not worth the prize. See, the risk I, was I, way I, bigger than the reward. I like that because that's the that's what we're missing now. Holy what? shit. No, I, let, me, let me make my no, point. No, I'm not we're finished. I'm not finished, Keisha. Okay. God damn it. There is no way <laughs> of what nothing nobody says, Keisha, is justifiable to this young man jumping in between buildings and getting stuck and breaking his ankle and being stuck. He said his whole body was numb for being stuck in between the two buildings for two hours. And not only on top of that, but the restaurants that were connected to the, the buildings that were connected were both restaurants. And in order for the paramedics and ambulances to get him out, they had to cut holes in the walls and ruin their business and shut down their businesses for a week in order for this young man to get out the walls. <laughs> to you, sir, you can dig a hole in Bury your goddamn self because that vagina ain't worth it. No Man. vagina is worth it. For proving your love. I'm Men don't do that anymore. On a first date, All they do is talk about it. I'm definitely confused at this. How apart, How far apart were the buildings? Not that much, right? I not that much. So how did it he was not like, make It was like jump? five feet. It was like five feet. How did he not make the jump? Yeah. Well, he, he jump up on one. 
Yep. Yeah. I can Listen, see white man hung. can't jump. I don't yeah, see it. I, can see him getting hung. I don't see it. How white do man can't jump. Make the jump. I don't know, bro. But, 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 but first off, if you make a five foot, well, if, if you make the jump, how does that prove you love her, right? <laughs> oh, no, I was just saying that, you know, men are, men are all talk nowadays. Listen. Talk listen. a good game, and this man was trying to prove. How was that so proof? What, what proof to you is that? He might have told her, listen, if you were captive. He's willing to hell, hurt himself if, for if her. If you were held captive, I'd jump over that building like this to save you. He, he's and willing, he exactly. He was willing to. No, hurt. it ain't no fucking no, exactly. He was willing to. Because hurt first of all, any her. smart man, any smart man would jump from the taller building to the shorter building. What was that song? <laughs> this asshole jumped from the smaller building to the taller building. Knowing damn well you're not athletic. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Keisha. Again, you missing. I'm not the point buying. Of- no, you're missing the point. How deep is your love for me? It's not deep. <laughs> it's not deep at all. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm fucking finished. But look, I thank you guys for having me. But it was only one more show I wanted to shout out. I hope you guys tune into this season too. Is um being Mary Jane, which y'all probably don't watch nope. too. Nope. Black woman. Besides that, she's a newscaster. A black woman put playing a newscaster. And when I say she talk about topics that. Our news would never touch. You need to watch it. But listen, at the same time, it could be not her personal. It could be a monumental show show and a monumental moment. But if the show's not good, if it's not interesting, it's just not. What I'm telling you, it is though. To you, no, but you didn't watch it. So how I did watch it when Amari Hardwick was on it. I did. Oh, you watched it? Yeah, I did. So what what was it? Right? BT. Check out. That was actually one of the only good. Check out being Mary Jane. Check out being Mary Jane. Though I've seen it, I'm just not interested. So, so you know these shows. Black cast, black writers, got to be good, support, though. Support, gotta be good. It. Yeah, yeah, got to be good. Support I'm going to check them out just because I'm I owe it. I'm going to check them out, and I'm going you know, <laughs> to give my honest check opinion out, on man. them. Hey, man, follow but us. you want to watch The Walking Dead, a bunch of Yo, white zombie people walking around Walking Dead, that shit is going to happen. These motherfuckers taking bath salts and mollies, and it's <laughs> Zika going stupid. around. Going motherfuckers is walking around eating each other's faces off. Yo, the world is crazy. <laughs> the zombie apocalypse is on the verge of happening. So if you want to learn how to survive, you tune in to AMC's Walking season, Dead. Season See? 7 coming up, right? Season 7 is coming on up season in October. Season 6, I'm almost over. Like, I've caught up. Like, I'm almost ready for new... The new season of The Walking Dead. Listen. Nobody could convince me to watch a show like that. Well, don't fucking watch it then. So, oh, it's racist. Your, it's racist. Your. Besides that, a bunch of people walking around biting each other all just for what? For what? You hungry? Go show. eat. Listen, it's a zombie apocalypse. There's no food. Fucking okay. Walking Dead. Sorry, I just got mad. I don't care about Because it's a very anger. popular show, and I know a lot of people, oh, Walking Dead, Walking Dead, when there's Listen, so many man, other I entertaining I keep telling you, on. the first form of TV is entertainment. You can have the right messages, but if it's not entertaining, nobody gives a fuck. I ain't got to tell you what my... What I watch in private, secret, because then you we don't want to care me. about you. We don't care about your porn, Keisha. I wasn't talking about porn. Oh, my God. Do they we don't still care make about your that? Porn. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Yo, uh, I, Podcast Brothers episode 12, man. You can check us out on our Twitter page, Podcast Brothers. You can check us out on our Facebook page, My Brother and Me Podcast. You can holler at us at the Podcast you, Brothers. Podcast we Brothers, pardon now, me. See? Anyway, you can holler at us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, <laughs> iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play. We worldwide, we everywhere. Shout out to everybody who listens and everybody who continues to support us and push our brand. We appreciate it. This has been Podcast Brothers episode 12. Yeah.